For this installation, you will need the following tools. A Phillips screwdriver, a voltmeter, and wire strippers. Turn the power off from the circuit breaker for the switches to be replaced. Unscrew the existing light switches at both switch locations. Carefully pull the switches out of the wall as the contacts may still be live. Double check if the power is off with a non-contact voltage tester at both locations. You should see in the switch boxes that there are two sets of wires that enter the back of the box. One set should have a black, white, and ground wire. The second set should have red, black, white, and ground wires. The set of wires that does not have the red wire will have either the hot or load wire. The other set will have the traveler wire. We will determine this in the next steps. With both the old switches still connected, turn on the circuit breaker. Be very careful not to touch the wires or terminals as you'll be working with live wires. Carefully turn the light off from either wall switch. Use the voltmeter at both locations to check the black terminal. When the meter lights up, that is your hot wire. We will call this location number one for our reference. The same black terminal at the second location will have the load wire. Test this terminal to confirm that it is not hot. This will be location number two. Turn the power off from the electrical panel. The white wires are your neutral wires. The black wire from the set with the red wire is the traveler wire. The red wire will need to be set up as the new load wire. This wiring method we will show you is what is used in most, not all, three-way setups. This means that the hot wire will be at location number one, and the load wire will be at location number two. The TGWF 500D Wi-Fi dimmer switch will be installed in location number one, which is the side with the hot wire. Connect the jumper wire to the neutral wires in the box and into the neutral terminal on the switch. Insert the hot wire, which is the black wire from the set of wires with no red wires, into the hot terminal screw. Insert the traveler wire, which is the black wire from the set of wires that has a red wire. Insert the load wire, which is the red wire, into the load terminal screw. Now insert the ground wire into the ground terminal. Adjust the wires and place the TGWF 500D Wi-Fi dimmer switch into the wall. Screw on the wall plate. The TGWF 3K add-on switch will be installed in location number two, which is the side with the load wire. Connect the red wire to a load wire, which is the black wire from the set of wires that does not have the red wire. The red wire is now connected to the load. Now put the combined red and black wire into the back of the box. Connect the jumper wire to the neutral wires in the box. Now you are left only with three wires, the ground wire, a neutral jumper wire, and traveler wire. Insert the neutral wire into the neutral terminal screw. Insert the traveler wire into the traveler terminal screw. Now insert the ground wire into the ground terminal. Make sure all terminal screws are tightened. Adjust the wires and place the TGWF 3K add-on switch into the wall. Screw on the wall plate. Finally, turn on the circuit breaker. You can now control your lights from multiple locations.